Welcome back to learning as we play Age of Wonders 4. And what we're going to do is we're just going to play some more. And I'm going to explain what I'm doing so you get an idea of how to potentially play without needing to talk about all these buttons. Actually, we haven't even looked at all these buttons yet. We've looked at a few, I think. But right now we're going to look at the Rally of the Legions again real quick because we have some money coming in. We might want to recruit something new. No, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe not. So, we're going to end our turn. You can see our dwarven friend here has changed since we met them early. They are now green. Because I believe they have a major race transformation going on themselves. Uh, leaf skin, exactly. So they are walking quicker through forests and they are camouflaged in forests too. Honestly, let's let's have a little diplomatic uh pow 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 wow pow with them. Let's see what we can do. Uh propose an alliance. We're not there yet. Uh it's too soon. Try in six turns. Uh, we could do a teleporter pact. I don't have teleporters yet, but if I had, we could both each use each other's Teleport is there. Uh, we could do a declaration of friendship, which costs us a lot. Uh, but it helps us keep this thing going. And it costs ongoing, which I don't like. I don't like that it costs ongoing. That's that's kind of uncool. Let's invest in this. Uh, we'll have a declaration of friendship here with our friends in Thistle Down. That's pretty good. And we'll move closer up to here, which we wanted to prepare for a potential war we're bringing our bringing our blood drinker which is what i'm gonna call this sword now even though that's not actually its name but that is what i'm gonna pretend the name is and here is our rally of the legions ogres which will integrate in this army there and while we wait we want to we want to go clean up this bit like clean up some of these creatures blocking access to these resources so he can just stand there for the moment, wait. Actually, we can move him closer to his troops, so the joining up loses less movement on the next turn. And this is definitely what I want, plus 30% critical hit chance. Are you kidding me? We haven't... I think we have one minor race transformation yet so far, so it's not all too much. Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, we definitely want this once we can. Uh, cities that share a border with the throne city gain plus 10% in all types of income. And if you look at my amazing planning ahead skills, both of our cities that we have actually do that. So that's going to help us. Plus 10% in everything. Yes, please. Thank you. Cinderhold likes us. That's good. Though we're a little bit behind our uh, dwarven friends. It's fine. Either the dwarves get it or we get it. I don't. I don't care. Either way is fine. Let's see. They are still being courted by other forces, which I don't like too much. That's not the right one. These are the right ones. But I think we're head-to-head -head with whoever is trying this, so we'll see. There will be events helping us to move forward on integrations. Also, I have not talked about it yet, but in Paradox games, very often, I'm just amazed by the music. I generally don't like music too much because it's too bombastic for me, but... Yeah, here it works. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Border hunt. Coven. Okay, you, you want us to kill a thing somewhere. Is that what I got? Vassalage with Cinderhold. What did I just do? Um... Okay, uh, Cinderhold are these underground boys here. He wants us to get to a Pact of Vassalage. Okay. Uh, boost Allegiance. We will invest this. Sets us back a little bit. That's fine. I'm going to do that. Can't trade with them yet. Um, all right. Okay. Now it's no longer uh, unimportant. Now it is actually quite important to get ahead there. And what do we want to do? Arts and fortifications. Oh, yes. More defense. I like defense. Uh, bolt repeaters, which are great in attacks. Uh, or the iron golem shield unit. 
which mm, immune to negative start of, uh, status effects is pretty cool. Uh, let's oh, let's get this. And uh, let's. By the way, if you click them and you have preset like a movement, like right now we want them to move there. You just click this once again and they move. I set it in the options that they move quick, so you don't have to watch them waddle about. Um, but that's a little bit weird and not super comfortable. And I don't particularly like how this is achieved and done, but it's okay. So let's move them here, actually. And move them there. I think... Nope. Not in this turn, but soon. All right. Production in Harrington needs to be set. Nothing is happening. We need money. And we need mana. We don't need this right now, so that's fine. So we're going to go for money and mana with the tithe shrine here. And that's it because we have more cities to build in. So we're not going to do everywhere. And here we're going to not get the tithe shrine, but instead we're going to get the market. Gives us some money. Uh, we can do this now. Upkeep 18. We can just afford it. So we're going to do that. Sometimes it, it doesn't calculate exactly as you would expect. I think this is just some sort of rounding issue. And there's a new thing we could do. More casting points. That's not too shabby to have. Uh, but we're not going to have it now. We're going to have it next time. We have a pact of cooperation with these boys now. And now we can boost the uh, allegiance again. Um, you can do that basically once per stretch here. Uh, no longer, no more beyond that. Um, <sighs> yeah, no trading doesn't really make any sense here. We got a message from. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't like us. Friendship with us was declared. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Hello. Do you want to have a wizard's bond? No. <laughs> they do not. They want us to pay, but we can't pay, so... I'll just live with it for now. Alright. You in... Silver Fence. Who are you? You are new. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't care all that much about you at this point. Maybe later. Let's end our turn. And let's move these up here. So also they get some experience there. Let's move these in to merge into our army soon. And let us attack this. All right, uh, we could let them grow or we attack them. We like plants, I decided, so we're going to let them go. I'm going to just walk up on this. And there's another plant creature, so probably they're going to... Nope, they want to fight. Okay, then we fight them. That's, that's all right with me. Our outpost has built the stone walls. And we want to move our troops into position soon. We can annex a new province. We can't go here. So we will have to go here. Inevitably. Um, what do we want to take? Another farm? So we grow quicker. Nah, let's go for more fisheries. These are really good for us. Bring the most in. And since this is all protected, we can take these anytime we want. We needn't worry about them. There's no one going to come and creep into our territories. Alrighty, let's pick our troops and move them to where I intended them to move. Or close to it anyway. Already set them down there so we can easily move down next turn. Okay, we definitely need mana now. So another tithe shrine will be built. And I believe clergy comments. We'll just push these. We were complimented. Okay, very good. Negotiation succeeded. You, my friend. Can we get the defensive pack now or the alliance in three turns now? 
Okay, fine. But we're both good friends, yes? Oh, we're at war with her, actually. She declared war on us. Which means that... Just a second. Okay. Now... I am a little bit confused because I had a defensive pact. But I believe that our brother over there decided not to join us in this war. Ay 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 ay. Alrighty then. Okay. If that is so. Well, who was prepared? We were prepared. So let's get down there right away and make them regret their life choices here. Now, eh, there we go, enter and away so the other army can also follow. They can't go down yet, but that's okay. Can build iron golems now. Mm, we'll want the copper boys. Can build something new here. And I think we'll get another quarry there. More production. Let's see, what do we need? We need mana. We need gold. And we need... Uh, Draft now, because now we are at war, which we will need to both be able to afford and to reinforce. Stone walls, maybe, to defend the main city. I think we build the wizard tower uh, as well, but it might, might be a good idea. Spell jammer might be a good idea. Okay, now things are getting a little bit too ahead. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we might need now, now that we are at war. That I have blissfully ignored so far. So what shall we do? I think... I believe... We'll build an armory. And let's check through our cities first. What we can build. Uh, we'll build a Caltrop stash here. To help our, reinforce our defenses. This is not too high here with 25. That's not a lot. Uh, declaration ended and counted. Alright, okay. Our ally has been called to war. But the treaty has been broken because they were like, Nah, I'm not coming to help you. They declined. And uh, we would like to be like, Hey, um, what's this now? Why? <laughs> uh... Well, we'll leave it at what it is. I don't want to off, uh, offset him. They made a defensive pact. That's fine. And this free city declared war on us as well. Because they're probably vassalized from them. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, this is an unknown ruler we're fighting against here. So we're going to boost this allegiance for sure. We need more friends in, in this world. We're definitely going to get this to increase our output here. Immediately jump to 28 mana. That's fantastic. Uh, we will want this now. We want more casting points on the world and the tactical stage. Our domain is being invaded. Yeah, okay. His his troops are sitting there. That's fine. Uh, let's check Cinderhold as well. And we'll boost this allegiance too. We're quite behind this. So that's... That's probably not going to work, so that's not ideal. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, we found a new person here. Uh, we are... The problem here, I, I, I think that is a bit of an issue. I just ended my turn. But something happened, and now I still have to click ending my turn. I already decided this, dear game. Don't make me click it twice, thank you. All right. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Two cities united failed because the dwarf just uh, vassalized them. So uh, that's not great. That's a big, big shame. Uh, but it also means we get our Whispering Stone back. Uh, and now we know that we're behind them. So we're, we're kind of falling apart here on many 
spots and places just now. This is really not super ideal, I must say. I'm not too worried yet, but that can quickly change, quite honestly. Uh, so let's move our troops through here. Move them up. The good thing is with the outpost there, we, we can easily recuperate. Um, we can easily just sit and be like, okay, let's, uh, let's sit there and get better for a moment. And spells are ready to cast. Um, <laughs> two upkeep, that's a lot. But it's also good. Stand together is good. 20% damage plus. We'll do that. We need it. We are at war now. Free city was vassalized. Congratulations, my friend. They have made a defensive pact. Great. Great. Don't trust the dwarf. The dwarf is a liar and a cheat. That is that is my position here. Okay. Right. What's going on here? Digging too deep. The Ash and Fey have mined too far. Okay, so we could go and do something with the spider matriarch somewhere. I don't know. Over there. Uh, we have 20 turns for it. Maybe, maybe if our war is done then we might want to do that. Let's first move our armies closer into here. And let's increase the area where we can stand. So we'll just take this here. It's not exactly why we came down there, but uh, this way we have more area for us. And we definitely want to gonna gonna want to take that city there. All right. Um, next book to take. Um, no, no, no. Mm, no. Maybe. I think we already have a nymph, so getting potentially more nymphs? Yeah, we'll take this. Another green tome of magic for us. So I think we want Blossom of Light. That's three regeneration. And a two hex radius, that's a lot, lot of healing uh, that we can throw in there. Now I'm a little bit worried because we haven't seen their army yet. And they are underground people, so they might be coming, popping up out of anywhere at any point. But as we threaten their city, there's a good chance they're going to come and try and uh, fend us off there. So let's build some units on the side here. Upgrade our stuff. Now we need more, more stuff. Uh, food doesn't really matter at this point, not as much anyway. Might want to get this, so our troops out of the passage are immediately in friendly territory. Uh, or we get this with the pastures. Because it's quite strong, obviously. Mm. Actually, we're going to get this, because that's uh, adjacent to another levy camp. So that's going to increase what this puts out. And we'll cast the Signet of Nitre. It costs us a lot in upkeep. But again, plus 20% damage when standing next to one another is... Ooh, that's something. Um, let's increase our sensing and uh, sensing range. Now, sensing range is not what you can see. It's what you can sense. If we look around here a little bit, we might see it like this here. We don't see this, we just know that there's something standing there, it's an army, uh, or an enemy or something. Uh, they're red if they're like a player army or something. Um, what do you want? Do we want the wizard bond now? Cool. Okay. Do you want anything else to do with us, like open borders? Sure. Let's just get all the treaties we can get down here. Um, Archon Blood. What does that? Plus 20 combat casting points. Oof. And they want 161 gold for it. 
Eh, no, we are at war right now. We need our resources close at hand. So... Yeah, okay. Um, another message received. Yeah? Okay. You want me to declare friendship with... With them. <laughs> Fine. I'll spend the money. Maybe. Maybe we get an ally again. Somewhere here. Uh, okay. Let's check here through all our cities. We want to build some stuff. Oh, we want to build a knight. Definitely. And that's all we can afford at the moment. We're gonna try and get into the rally of the sieges. Uh, Legis. I always say sieges for some reason. Okay, meeting, hostile, Scorheim, sure. Nothing to be done about it for us. They sit over there, and we just met them with our scout, kind of. Again, we were already at the end of our turn, but we had to click it again. Because something happened at the very end of our turn, which is... Ever so annoying, I must say. Alrighty, let's check our troop movements first. Okay, here you can see these are armies that we're sensing and these are enemy armies. I'm not sure what the other armies we are sensing are. Really no idea. But we'll move up in our territory as far as we dare to consolidate our forces so we're not split. So they're just going to sit there for a moment. We've produced an armory, which is good right now. Um, we definitely need more money, but right now I'd, huh, I'd rather invest in people, in troops, than anything else. Uh, oh, Bountiful Fields, draft income. Uh, this might be a good one. This might be a good one. Ah, that's a di we're we're at the point of real difficult choices now, uh, I think. During war, well, let's build this. This is cheap archer battlements. Improve how defensible our city is a little bit, because this directly correlates with how long it takes to take these cities, and some of these have zero defensibility right now. So let's let's take care of that maybe first. Um. Vassal's Grand plus 10 Golden Tribute, which doesn't help us. We don't have a single vassal at this point in time. Now another message received. Okay, she likes that. Well, it's good. It, it helped us, kind of. Okay. She's happy with that. We could do a defensive pact. Uh, which doesn't help us retroactively. Like, they're not going to join us. Can we get some money out of you if we give you, like, focus crystals? Oh, yeah. There's money in here. And we definitely need money right now. So let's sell our stuff. Uh, no, that's too little mana for what we, uh, money for what we want or what we get. So now we can buy and build more. Uh... Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's very expensive. Very expensive indeed. <sighs> Do we have adjacent quarries? No. We have a lot of mines in here. A lot of mines. So, but this is also per adjacent quarry. Ay ay ay. Gives us gold though. Uh, we'll we'll put it here. We'll put it there. Uh, and we'll build an iron golem here. It takes a long while for it to finish, but that's fine. All right, you like that too, don't you? Huh? Six turns. Damn you. Okay, our relationships are just going through the roof here. Let's share some vision. How about that? And let us have a teleporter pact, which again doesn't help anyone because we have no teleporters. 
but that's okay. The the Nutgard. Okay. Who are you? What can you do? Oh yeah, okay, you're basically aligned already here with someone. I don't, I don't really care. You're aligned with Sundren. Okay. All good. Now these look dangerous, but they're not actually enemies. It's just kind of the differentiation between a random army like these and something that is part of a of an empire. All right, let's look underground again. Okay, our uh, scout is being destroyed. There's really nothing you can do. You can't save your scouts. If the scouts get into combat, they're dead. Pretty much. It's nothing you can do about it. You can't retreat. You can't do anything. All right. Now we're going to bring in our troops here. And... Yeah, we'll just forge ahead into their territory, invade them, and we're going to pillage this province here. Our units are going to be locked for two turns, but we get some money out of it if we do it. So that's fine, we're going to do that. Plus, we're now threatening them directly, so whatever they were doing, wherever they were right moving and doing their thing, they're going to reconsider it. So that's good for us. All right, we built this. Uh, let's see. Smithy Guild, Draft, and Food Income. Ah, that would be pretty good. We have a bunch of foresters, after all. Um, Can we do something with foresters? Yeah. Like this. Uh, now, let's build the Wizard Tower. Uh, we're going to need that eventually. Uh, we're going to need that eventually. So let's start on that. And it's cheap-ish. It's affordable. Let's call it affordable. It's not cheap, but it's affordable. Uh, let's have another Bannerman and another Defender in the pipeline here. Because we get the most building here. The, the, the speediest building. Other rulers have declared a friendship. Oh, good. Everyone is friends. Fine. Fine by me. All right, let's see. Uh, there has an, they have an army now, close by. We're gonna move very carefully, very slightly only. Okay, now we can see them, and we see they don't have a hero here. It's just this. So we will be definitely better off than them. We have moved our units close. However, something we also notice, they have a lot of level two units. Uh, we do two in places, but not in everything, so uh, this is still everyone's game. And notice I'm not going to pillage anything else but that, because it already takes us two turns, and we will want to start this siege as soon as possible. Okay, now this army we could immediately send to reinforce, but I'd rather have them sit at home for now, uh, until we build something up that we can then send around. Okay, okay, we can annex something new. And I think we're going to go for the Smithers Guild, for the Smithy Guild, and just build some more foresters uh, as we as we were. Are we? Are we going to do that? Yes. We're going to do that. So let's get the... Which we can't afford this very second here. Let's maybe build stone walls instead. We need more defensibility. We were complimented. Well, <laughs> good stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, no treaties we can do here. Bye. Thanks. Negotiations have succeeded here, but we're still behind, so we're not going to get anywhere. It doesn't really... Like trying to pump this anymore. It's just a waste of Imperium. Uh, right. What can we do? What else can we do? We could lose one population everywhere and immediately get three T units, tier one units. It's not bad. All right. Uh, let's do another turn. And another scout of ours is being destroyed. Uh, happens. Alright. Okay, and now we move in for the siege. 
So we we need to do this with the hero, which we're going to do. We're going to start. Now we can put siege projects down, which costs us some money. And we definitely want to break battlements and undermine the walls. This is really what we want to do because battlements are really, really strong. Uh, they give defensive bonuses and the walls keep us out. So let's do that and move our armies closer so they will participate in the siege. They automatically arrange themselves, kind of if you just click on the center. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, it tells us here two turns until the siege can attack. We can annex something new here. Is there something interesting around, except for maybe more fishies? Uh, let's go for more fishies then. That's pretty good for us. Let's try and build out toward there's toward where there are things in the sea. All right. I'm stressed. I'm I'm worried. Uh, things are bad, good, I don't know. Are they good? Are they bad? We, we really do know. Awakened tools would help us right now, but we can't really... Oh, we can't afford the upkeep. So let's check our main city here. Uh, do we... Yeah, we can afford minus 10. Minus 10 satisfaction, we can afford that. Then we have t two left. Kind of, but we also lose the bonuses from stable cities. So maybe we build the bathhouse first and then we do that. But also maybe we build a mint so we get more money and then we do anything else. Uh, it's, as I said, now it uh, it becomes difficult to make choices here. Could also go for something like this. Uh, or we save up for the smithers guild, which would be uh, kind of good. So I don't know. I'm not going to invest at this very moment. New Empire skill available. Oh, ah, there might be some interesting options here. Let's see. We could get the Breastplate of the Champion, which is very good. We might want to do that. Uh, Mines Ground plus 10 Dwarfed. Oh, that's also very good. Um, all cities in our empire gain one people. Ah, that's not so good. Uh, I think we'll take the Breastplate, honestly. I think we'll break the Breastplate uh, because we are at war and... What? The blue lady has has a t what? <laughs> we what is going on? The frog people are being attacked and, and <laughs> what's happening? Hello? Why? Why do you attack us? What is this? Uh, g yeah, good to know. Thanks. That's great. The two of them started a war? Ah, you broke a defensive pact. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, all these treaties are now broken. My god. Oh, you guys are now in a defensive pact. Well, great. Good stuff. Okay, well, she's not a threat to us. I, I don't think we're gonna see her anytime soon. Hey, you! Defensive pact? No? Three turns? Oh, honestly. Alright, okay, this is a problem. Now we see them coming. Uh, and this is their ruler here. So there are some armies here that are coming for our stuff. Meaning, we will take the, the little bit of troops we have and, and shuffle them about here. Um, we'll probably move them to here because this has the <laughs> least defense uh, overall. All the wars that are being started, my goodness. But we do have a rally of the siege, uh, lieges coming up. I keep saying sieges. I mean lieges. We have a rally of the lieges coming up, so this will help us. Yeah, take the outpost. I don't care. Sit there. Waste your time. Uh, I intended for them to become a vassal anyway. I packed the vassalage with silver fence. Okay. I mean, sure. Uh, can we even? Is Silver Fence still vassalably? Is there even a way still? Where are they? Where is Silver Fence? There. Hey, my friend. Is there? Well, I mean, we're not gonna get there. <laughs> Definitely not gonna get there. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do this siege here. Uh, no, we can't because it's soon. Not yet. Uh, they have reinforced in between. 
They have built some more units, um, which they are allowed to do, sadly. They summoned maybe some as well. But for now, we're going to move our troops around here. Join them up slightly. And they are just going to stand here for the moment. Mm. And we want, to s we want this summoning spell because it's good in battle, honestly. Our outpost is under siege. Yeah, 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 I know. That's fine. I didn't want that outpost anyway. And we can just always take it back. We have built some palisade walls. Great stuff. Let's build some more stuff, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, archer battlements. Yeah. Got this place. It's not defensible whatsoever. Are we building units at least? Yes. Are we building units here still? Nope. Definitely need to put some more units in. Um, <laughs> we need some ranged units in this. And you guys, honestly, get a, you, you get a tavern. You're kind of unhappy. That's not good. I want to start this siege. I want to do the siege before we finish this. Uh, okay, let's get the 10 draft from the mines, maybe. Yes. Because we have some mines here, so that helps us a lot. A trade proposal, huh? Sure, let's let's have a wizard's bond. Why not? I don't want the other packs with you. You're just gonna betray us like all the others before. Yes. Yes, yes, I know. They're taking our stuff, that's fine. We are a big bigger threat to them right now than they are to us. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. <laughs> anyway. Alright, let's uh, start the siege here. And we'll attack. And we are heavily outgunning them. We're going to do an auto combat and then we're going to watch it. Just so you get a feeling for how these go. We only lost some of our trolls, which is acceptable in my book. So let us watch this replay. Alright. So you can see... Walls are broken, battlements is what this platform stuff here is, and it really helps them. Like, the battlements are a strong, strong, strong thing. So something you're going to notice straight ahead is how the AI loves to throw your heroes just right in front. Or you might notice. It doesn't do that always, but sometimes it does that. So I'm not too fussed about it. Because then, ob obviously, they have no support, and the enemy will focus down your heroes which are very integral to what's going on here. Well, let's see. Now, these are uh, scouts, but they can be quite strong, honestly. I have had armies with several scouts against me, which made a lot... a lot of problems for me. Oh yeah, the spiders, they can attack three at once, that's some crazy stuff. And our wild speakers here, they boost the animals. Uh, we have converted a unit over there with our nymphs. Ah yes, the wolf will eat them all. Very good. Very good. Completely destroyed that complete flank there. Our hero just ran in and sliced through them. And the troll, that's the one that will die. Went straight into battle. Let's see. Alright. Where is our hero with the hammer? Yeah, I think the troll is going to die here. Did we give the hammer to somebody? I think we did. Must be a hero over there somewhere. Alright, let's see. Oh, my god. Just slides them to pieces. Hunter spiders just jump forward a little bit. Our wolf boy is just shredding through these. Uh, our hammer boy is back there. 
back right there. I really like the cool boars. This is such a cute unit idea. Oh man, another hero slicing through the enemy. And you can see when they start blinking like this, they're losing morale. Uh, they, they are worried they are not going to fight as effectively. But clearly we are winning. I mean, we know we've won this, so it's not a big surprise. But I still enjoy watching it play out because I really like auto battlers. And this is basically an auto battler in a sense. Um... Especially later when you have so many stacking buffs and all that uh, all that stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm too old to keep track of all the cool uh, synergies you can start. So I just like to let the AI take care of it. So it's more like, did I plan my empire out properly? Did I, did I research the things? Oh my god, amazing. I love the sword. Did I plan out uh, unit equipments? All that kind of stuff. Did I, did I do that? Also, I never gave her the breastplate we unlocked. So I gimped her for this battle. I'm so sorry, my lady. But if you play it like this in battle, um, yeah, it's it's a bit of an auto battler. Did you plan? Did you did you give the right enchantments and everything? That's pretty cool. And if it fails, you can always retry and manually fight the battle. So that's pretty good too. Oh, it's just so much going on. I mean, look at all this. I, I have no idea what be, would, what would be good to be had. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Spider boys. Doing spider boy stuff. Wet and bleeding from being hit with ice. Okay. Wolf, do it. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. So we have uh, taken this city now, meaning we get to decide what we do with it. Uh, we could raise it or we could vassalize it. And in this case, we're going to vassalize it. And then we're going to take our armies and just move south, further south. There are no armies right now opposing us. And we should have a pretty clear line right to this capital city. And in that case, once we reach that, he's going to turn around. He is going to turn around and try and defend us off. And right now, um, we might want to consider leaving a unit here. I say a unit specifically because not more than that. But as long as we're in uh, sight range, that's fine. So for two turns, it should be okay. Now, they are just taking some of our stuff. We can easily rebuild that. I don't I don't care all that much. Do that. Enjoy. If it makes you happy, you know. If, if you think that makes you a big, strong man, do it. And we'll build more knights here because they're really, really good, honestly. Knights are amazing. And we're going to build a culture of stash, uh, improving our defensibility further. And in the other cities, we don't build nothing because we don't have no money, <laughs> uh, basically. So we all stand here, animate flora, and remind me that I definitely want to go ahead and give our hero this thing now. Okay, you're happy with what we're doing. Obviously, we're fighting your own enemy, I think. And our hero, our hero, our hero... D dear hero, where are you? With your lovely, lovely sword. There you are. Let's give you this. I mean, plus 20% critical hit chance. 20% uh, damage. Like, she's going to be a juggernaut. This is just... It's not even going to be funny anymore. She's going to tear through the enemy like it's nothing. And with that, with our first siege, with our first war ongoing, and with all these pacts broken, with a lot of diplomacy happening, I'll leave you at that. Thank you very much for watching and see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.